Today, in Lesson 26, we continue to work on division. The objective, put in simple terms, was to divide a three- or four-digit number with a decimal by a two-digit number. And the rules were to estimate where we decompose the number, solve with no remainder, and check using multiplication. So let's try one together. This equation reads 75 and 9 tenths divided by 22. And sometimes I like to write the place value. You could see I wrote it in red above the numbers. That way when I'm estimating it's a little bit easier to see um, the place value. So when I look at this number, I want to see how many times the divisor goes into the dividend. So how many times, or can, I should start with can, 22 go into 7 tens? No, it can't. Can I go into 75? Once, yes, it can. So that's what I'm going to start to estimate. So under this, I would write 75 ones divided by 22. So my first step is always to round the divisor. What would you round 22 to? 20 or 30? Well, this 2 makes the other 2 stay on the floor. So it becomes 20. Now I have to make 75 a compatible number or a friendly number. So let's think about our 20 times tables, our 2 times tables. And when I get somewhere close to 75 without going over, we'll stop. So 20 times 1 is 20, times 2 is 40, times 3 is 60, times 4 is 80. Well, I'm going to stop here at the 60. And I'm going to make this 60 ones. Monkey see, monkey do. Zero, zero. How many times does 2 go into 6? Three. Now, where am I putting it? The, look at that last number, the five, the ones, the ones place. I'm going to put it in the ones place. Three. So let's check. 22 times three gives me 66. So I divided. I multiplied. My next step would be to subtract. I have to borrow. 15 take away six is nine. Six take away six is nothing. After you subtract, what do you do? Look at my chart over here. My next step would be to bring down. So I'm going to bring down this 9. Now we're going to estimate again. 99 tenths, and it's tenths because this 9 is in the tenths place. 99 tenths divided by 22. So we're going to round the 22 down to 20. Now, if you look back up here at my multiples, my multiples, I have 20, 40, 60, 80. After 80 would be 100, and that might be too big. So let's stick with the 80 for this one. 80 tenths. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. Monkey see, monkey do. How many times does 2 go into 8? 4. 22 times 4 gives me 88. So I, oh, this R, I forgot the R down here. The R stands for repeat. I need to do it again. So we did repeat. I divided. I multiplied. Now I need to subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1. 9 minus 8 is 1. So I need to keep going because we do not, remember, we do not want to have that remainder. So I'm going to need to bring something down. What number can I add here that I could bring down? We can add a zero because you can add a zero and it won't change the value of the number. So now what I'm going to do is bring, I added the zero, now I'm going to bring down the zero and I'm going to repeat. 22, how many times does 22 go into 110? Let's try. Let's write 110 hundredths divided by 22. So let's round. The 22, we round down to 20. And we have to find the compatible number. Well, I already found the 100 up here, so let's use that. 100 hundredths. Monkey see, monkey do. How many times does 2 go into 10? 5 times. So let's try. I'm just going to do it over here. 22 times 5. So I divided. Now I need to multiply. I get 110. After I multiply, I need to subtract. Zero, zero, zero. I have nothing left to bring down. There is no remainder. So it looks like my answer is going to be three and forty-five hundredths. But let's check. How do you check? What's the rule? Multiply the quotient times the divisor. So I would do three and forty-five hundredths times twenty-two. 
five times, two times five is 10, two times four is eight plus one is nine, two times three is six. Cross out the two, I'm done with it. Now this two is really a 20, so I need to put down that zero as a placeholder. Two times five is 10, two times four is eight plus one is nine, two times three is six. Add it together. Now how many numbers are after the decimal? Two numbers, that means I need to move my decimal two places, 75 and 90 hundredths, which is the same as my dividend. So, 75 and 9 tenths divided by 22 equals 3 and 45 hundredths.